so Neil, what about the take your B or C neighborhood? That's not a mall, but it's your typical you know, downtown of a little suburb where you have the storefronts and the apartments above. What do you see happening to those, like call it smaller, you know, nine units with a storefront uh, in front? So I think they will do really well because what we are finding and the guy to read is um, what's his name? The, the big shift ahead guy. His first name is John. Uh, he's a consultant, uh, runs a consulting company. I can't remember his last name. Um, so read the book, Big Shifts Ahead. And he talks in, the, in that book about the concept of suburban. Suburban is a mashup, obviously, of suburban and urban together. And what we are finding is everywhere in the United States where people are trying to build mini urban areas, where there's you know, three floors of apartments with retail under, those areas are, are outperforming traditional strip malls by a factor of 2X to 3X. So we think that as long as it's not like one freestanding building with retail, as long as it's a clump of four or six or 10, those areas are outperforming. They are not having trouble leasing out their retail. And, and some of it is, is still a revolving door. Somebody comes in and you know, rents it for two years and somebody else comes in and takes over, but they're not going bankrupt. You know why? 90% of their revenue is in the apartments. So when the, the retail side is not consistent, they're still not going bankrupt. Those companies are still owning and making money because there was no way that the city would have approved just apartments in that area, right? The cities have restrictions where you, you can only do mixed use. So that even with the retail size underperforming, we are not seeing any delinquencies in those areas because they're kind of sort of making it up on the apartments above. 